Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And this is another hip-hop video. Just another one of them questions. Because when it comes down to this legendary record label, Death Row Records, besides the former CEO staying in and out of trouble, staying in and out of prison, which... The former CEO, he's currently incarcerated right now. They pretty much sentenced him to life because of a hit and run incident when they was filming the NWA biopic straight out of Compton. Like, like they said that, like, when they was filming the biopic, they just said that he killed someone. He ran someone over. I mean, but other than that, besides the former CEO being incarcerated, facing a life sentence, there's some good history behind this label. Like, back in the 90s, th this this record label, Death Row Records, they had Snoop Dogg, they had Dr. Dre, they had Tupac, they had Corrupt, they had the Dog Pound. Yeah, they had Daz, they had um the D.O.C., there, there was definitely some good history on Death Row Records, but, but, uh, ooh, excuse me, but other than that, like, when, when this artist, when, 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 when Dr. Dre had left Death Row and Dr. Dre had started up his label Aftermath, when Dr. Dre had signed this artist, when Dr. Dre signed this white rapper, it seems like Suge Knight had got jealous of that. And there's a story that they were talking about where they were saying something. Y yeah, I, I think, yeah, they, they were saying something that Suge Knight had sent some people to try to, like, like harm Eminem or something. And and there was, there, there was like also a situation where they were saying something that Suge Knight had showed up to the music video shoot when they was um shooting the music video for 50 Cent's um, song in the club. They said that Suge Knight had showed up with some Mexicans and he had a, a, a cigar. And they said that like 50 Cent wasn't afraid and they said that Eminem wasn't afraid either. So, yeah... I got a question for y'all. What if, what if Suge Knight signed Eminem to Death Row Records while Eminem was on the come up? My fellow, my fellow Eminem fans, my fellow Death Row Records fans, which, yeah, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is the CEO. Snoop Dogg is the CEO of Death Row Records now, but... You know what of because when when Eminem when Eminem was on the come up Eminem he was hitting labels up Eminem was trying to get signed to Loud Eminem uh like like he was trying to get signed to Master P's No Limit which Master P was saying that he nearly signed Eminem you know what I mean? Like 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 Eminem was trying to get signed to Fat Joe. Like Fat Joe said that Eminem had approached him six times and he never signed Eminem. But what if what if Suge Knight signed Eminem to Death Row while Eminem was on the come up? Let's have a discussion about this. I'ma give you my answer like I do as always. Yeah, here's my answer to the question, what if Suge Knight signed Eminem to Death Row while Eminem was on the come up? Yeah, here's my answer to the question. Okay, so Death Row Records, they had a good roster back in the, back in the 90s. They had a great roster. They had Tupac, they had the Dog Pound, they had Snoop Dogg, they had Corrupt. They had a good roster. They had a bunch of talent, but like Death Row Records, like a like a lot of the a lot of the artists, they they were like a gangster. They 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 were gangster. They had that gangster style. A lot of the artists were like gang affiliated. They they were they were gangster. You know what I mean? Snoop Dogg. I, yeah, like, like, I'm pretty sure, like, everybody knows, yeah, like, with, with Snoop Dogg and, like, and it kind of seemed like Tupac, 
it kind of seemed like when Tupac was on um was on death row, it kind of seems like Tupac started to affiliate himself with gangs too. But other than that, I mean, do I feel that it would have been dope if Eminem signed to death row records with Suge Knight? I, I, I honestly feel that it now don't get me wrong. I do feel that Eminem would have made like, would have made like classics with Tupac. I feel like like Eminem, if Eminem was like label mates with Tupac, I feel like Eminem and Tupac would probably even make a collab album. I feel like Eminem and Tupac would definitely make masterpieces together. I feel like Eminem and Snoop Dogg, and, and, and along with the Dog Pound, I feel that they would definitely make masterpieces, but it's just, with, with, with Death Row Records being like a gangster-style record label, signing a white rapper like Eminem around that time, I kind of don't feel it would have been the right move for Eminem, because, I, I mean, besides, like, they, they probably wouldn't have had been interested into signing him because they probably wouldn't even like know how to like handle a white rapper because that was the problem with um with no limit because master p he was saying that he nearly signed eminem to no limit but they didn't know how to handle a white rapper they didn't know how to like deal with a white rapper that was the reason eminem never signed to no limit but yeah eminem signing to aftermath dr dre saved eminem's life and you see it seemed like when dr dre signed eminem to aftermath it seems like suge knight was like jealous of that but see that's the thing like eminem and 50 cent they're, they're like two two rappers in the rap game during that time when Suge Knight was like free. They weren't afraid. They weren't afraid of Suge Knight because they said that Suge Knight has showed up to the um music video shoot for the song In the Club, for the In the Club music video. And 50 Cent wasn't scared at all. But yeah. I feel like it, it It probably, I honestly feel it wouldn't have had been a dope move for Eminem to do because with Eminem being like a white rapper signing to a record label that's gangster style where the rappers are like, you know, like, like gang affiliated, I I feel like it, it, it probably like wouldn't have had, it probably wouldn't have had like worked out for Eminem. But yeah, like, yeah, see... Yeah, that's the thing, like, like with Dr. Dre leaving Death Row and forming his own label, Aftermath, Dr. Dre, he got away from that. Dr. Dre got away from the Death Row drama. But other than that, there, there's definitely some, some good history when it comes to Death Row records, like the artists, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, The Dog Pound, Corrupt. Yeah, Daz, like like all of those artists together, they're all legendary. I mean, Snoop Dogg, his, his debut album, Doggy Style, Doggy Style, that album right there is still like a very influential rap album to this day. And just like with Dr. Dre, his album, The Chronic, that album is very influential. That album is legendary. There's a bunch of legendary projects on Death Row, but yeah, my 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 fellow Eminem fans, my fellow Death Row Records fans, let's chat. Let's have a discussion about this. What if Suge Knight signed Eminem to Death Row while Eminem was on the come up in his career? Because Eminem was trying to get signed. Eminem, he was a white rapper having a hard time because of the fact that he's a white rapper. And it's like the hip hop culture, the rap game, it, they didn't really want to show any white rappers any respect. And Eminem was having a hard time. I mean, you did have the Beastie Boys and you also had House of Pain and you also had Third Base, but... When it came down to, I mean, it was still like a hard time for white rappers to really make it. And Eminem was having a hard time. And you see 
Eminem was about to give it up, but you see, when Dr. Dre heard the Slim Shady EP, that's what changed Eminem's life. But, yo, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song is a diss track towards Tom McDonald called Tom McDonald. It's on my YouTube channel and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.